Hey there, Chris here, and today we're taking a look at the Graffilo A5 Notebook. This is a new product for us, but it has quickly risen to one of my favorite paper brands. Um, I know that's saying a lot, but it is exceptional. Here it comes in three different ruling options. Um, this light white one is going to be aligned, the cream is going to be blank, and the gray is going to be a graph. So what you get when you purchase these is um, a mid-weight cardstock cover. It is stitch bound on the sides here. So you can see there's minimal branding in the top corner here. It's just going to have graffilo with a few squigglies um, embossed in a really nice classy silver. There is this front tag that you can easily take off, but otherwise it's a beautiful minimalistic notebook. The lined version here is going to have an 8 millimeter light gray ruling. Obviously the blank is just going to have nothing. <laughs> and the one we're taking a closer look at today is going to be the graph. The graph is going to be a tight 4 millimeter graph, but it was quite easy to write with. Uh, you can either use one line for your ruling or you can choose to kind of double it up. This paper has a bit of a texture, so when I first opened it, I was kind of skeptical that it was going to behave really well. Normally I like a really smooth paper, but my lord, it did just an exceptional job with fountain pens. As you can see here, we have our usual suspects. Uh, did a great job with pencils, obviously, roller balls, ball points, and just a great job with fountain pens. Got a giant swatch here of Sailor Okuyama, um, and just look at that golden sheen. It's exceptional. The most remarkable part about this too was even the Sharpie didn't have any bleed through. Yeah, there was a decent amount, not even a decent, an okay amount to show through, but no bleed through on anything we threw at it. Um, it's just an incredible paper. For just general writing, I mentioned that it has a bit of a tooth and normally that can create kind of a, not as a glass smooth writing experience. But when you put the nib to this paper, it just wrote exceptionally smoothly. Um, normally too, um, if it has a little tooth to it, I find that the paper tends to absorb the ink a little more, and that kind of takes away at some of the best aspects of it. This had the opposite reaction. Shading was phenomenal, sheening was exceptional. It was just a remarkable paper to write on. I don't know how the Japanese keep doing this, but this paper truly is witchcraft. Um, it ranks right up there with Tomoe River. The price of the notebooks is a little steep, um, but you know, if you're in one of those treat yourself moments, uh, you won't regret getting one of these. It's just a joy to use with fountain pens. So that's the Graffilo A5. Comes in a variety of different ruling options. You can go check them out at andersonpens.com.